We're halfway through the World Cup. We're going on to the round of 16 next. Unfortunately, Wales are out, but... <laughs> VT, which I believe is going to be Abby's from Reese's workshop. We've got the World Cup box pops. Uh, Kian, you did interview Will. Lots from the team as well as for your brain in terms of does anyone think things have changed after last night's result? And, and yeah, so being a producer today, I've had to come up with a programme running order. I am responsible for kind of deciding what goes into today's World Cup special programme. Uh, on top of that, I have been collaborating with people on the course in terms of trying to find guests to come in, um, sort of talking about what VTs are going to go in as well. Joe Towns, our course leader, helped with that as well. And so we kind of came to this decision where we had our VTs, we had everyone's roles, uh, and then I had to basically create a running order and a plan of, of how today's show was going to go, essentially. Um, and during the broadcast, I will stand with the director just to make sure that everything's going well. And if we need to move on because we'd like to spend more time on other things, then I can be that voice just to, so that it's one less thing to think about during the broadcast for the director and they can just focus on getting the VTs in and out, working with graphics and creating a really smooth production for us. Oh, you, preparation is key. You, you fail to prepare, you're preparing for failure. Um, so if you don't do everything that you need to do, if you don't do your job, then uh, it's going to be rubbish. Um, so, but it's, it's the great thing about doing it here is because it's as close a simulation as you can get to like the real world, you know, it feels like the BBC newsroom in a, behind me right now. Um, everyone's, you know, pulling through and doing their bits and bobs, you know, we've got a deadline to meet in terms of creating VTs on the day, creating content ready for the show. Um, everyone's, you know, pulled together really well. We're working really well as a team to, to put together this show as well. Um, and if someone, you know, if one sort of foot fell in this, you know, centipede that is uh, the Cardiff Met Sport TV backroom, then uh, we'd, we'd stumble and fall over. So teamwork has been really key, and it's just about encouraging each other more than anything, and sort of like trying to build each other up for success. And he's been asking the questions on everybody's. So that's our last rehearsal. We've got uh, students in here on cameras uh, as floor managers. We've got presenters, sports correspondents. If you come around here. Got our oh. gallery in here. Yeah. This is our director James. Joe is doing it. James is producer. Ar Met TV, Evany, Emma, Ar Campus, King Coid. Yeah, like James has said, uh, you know, they've got some, some really good players now. Well, so we've had Cardiff Met against Cardiff Fimney. That's lovely. The broadcast centre here, the IBC. Oh. Seconds. More difficult, so unbelievably proud that we got there. From Cardiff does show in their league position. In a jam-packed show for you today. Happy slaps. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> we start um, after what was probably a late night for everyone in this room. Um, disappointing or jubilous for... Very well. Very well. Very well. Location. I can guarantee there's only broadcasters doing that, let alone the universities in this country going live to other places. So when you produce shows in future, just know that that's an option for you, that you can send someone down to the Principality Stadium, down to Fire Gardens Cricket, you can send them down to the city to um, have a guest. And I would have liked it if Keen had a guest. I think obviously we were in nice and early, 9am after the England-Wales game, which I think was a struggle for a few of us. But I think it's been great as a team to pull together, work together, kind of like mix and match with the, the VTs, doing a little bit of everything, and kind of all just pitching in and... Getting the, getting the job done, which I think has been really great. I think everyone's learnt a lot and we work really nicely as a team. We've had a couple of like team socials, I guess, you can have, so like, everyone gets on, which is really nice. <laughs> 